he um, had osteomyelitis and then developed an septicemia with um, with a staff. We were able to listen that night and to really hear God calling through the rain, literally. We have to find this 40 foot of 4 inch PVC piping. We're in the hills of Kentucky. After 38 days of being with him in the hospital and everything that had happened, three surgeries, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, it's like just one more thing. This is the story of John, our oldest son. Uh, when he was nine years old, he was very seriously ill. In three days, he had a temp of 107. He was admitted, and um, they started, you know, their therapies right away, but they really didn't do that much for him. After all those days of watching him, we, that was the day we just couldn't leave. We had to do something. So we called someone, and Dr. Shields was the one that we called. He called in a team of hand surgeons and they took John to the OR and cut open his leg. He had about a 10 inch scar or wound. We didn't know it at the time. If we hadn't stayed and Dr. Shields hadn't come and our surgeon hadn't been away just then, I'm, I'm not sure what would have happened to John because he just wasn't getting any better. We just feel that the Lord heard our prayers and things happened that probably are very coincidental and I think if you listen carefully you know everybody's in such a hurry <laughs> you don't take much time to listen anymore and um, and I think you have to have faith that things are gonna be okay I'm in a car with friends we're driving through Virginia uh, the longest you know state to go through and we're just singing some worship songs we had a CD on and there was this song that came on called let it rain and at that moment, it, it started pouring, and it, it wasn't even drizzling before. It just started, bam, there's the rain, and it's, you know, look around like, you know, obviously there's this feeling in the car, we were already kind of singing and kind of worshiping, and, you know, it just starts pouring out raining when the lyrics say, let it rain. God made a promise to us through, through Christmas, through the birth of Jesus, and those moments that we have, like, like the rain, really reveal that God is still present and that his promise is being fulfilled in our life and that that we do have a purpose and a reason for being here and and, and that's what's so exciting about uh, being a part of the kingdom of god we got a phone call from henderson where we put in the ladies water line they finally got water up to the mountain we find out that we can't put continue the water line because there's rock we can't dig through so we have to find this 40 foot of four inch pvc piping we're in the hills of kentucky we call around, there's no Home Depots down there, and we figured out we're going to have to go to Memphis to find the stuff, and we're standing there talking in a BP right next to the dorm, and here's the supplier and has exactly, exactly what we need. At a moment like that where off the cuff you, you're doing something and you need something specific, it proves to you that it's not coincidental that God is ever present in fulfilling the needs of His people today. During my husband's illness, um, he had been in the hospital for 38 straight days and was able to come home. He talked about it in the hospital, and when he got home, he wanted more than anything for me to get a new car. And here he was, you know, just out of the hospital, and yet we went to the car dealership because it seemed to be really important to him that this is something he wanted. We sat at the dealership, we took care of everything. We got home that night, I helped him get undressed and get into bed and I realized he did not have his wallet. And I had no idea what had happened to it, where it might be. Before I had a chance to call anybody, the phone rang. It was the car dealership telling me that they had his wallet. Compared to his surgeries and the fact that he came through those, finding this wallet might have been a very tiny little thing, but it was huge to me. It was just a reminder that God meets our needs, whether they're great or whether they're small. He's always there, all the time, you know, caring for us. I could have been bitter, I could have been angry and upset through his whole illness, but more than anything, I, there was just so many times I was so grateful that somebody was there, that God answered, you know, this situation. And yes, my husband died, but I really believe that that was his plan. And even though I may not always understand it, you know, I know that I can minister in ways now that I never would have been able to before. 
I think we need to open our eyes and be willing to receive what God has for us and not look at them as coincidences, but God instances.